Beijing University of Posts and Telecommunications. This paper, largest scale common carrier recommendation, it was done with was jointly done with Alibaba. Last year, I worked as a research intern at Alibaba Group. So my share, my presentation will start from the introduction, then follow the model and experiments. Last, we conclude this paper. Uh, the first part is about the recommendation system. You know, the recommendation system uh, are everywhere. I believe everyone may be use the recommended system in some app, just like maybe you will buy some items, maybe you will search some book or some questions. So recommended system help user to discover the items of interest from a larger source of connections. Maybe in Amazon, there exist maybe billions of items, but only maybe 100 of 1,000 items that you are interested in. So recommend system play an important role in various online service. Uh, in my opinion, maybe recommendation is, uh, is similar to the graph money. That's because link predictions on user item graph is actually the item recommendations. Here is an example. If we want to predict the link whether it exists between this user and this item, we actually predict the probability of giving the user to and to predict the item to. This is a simple case for bipart graph, but actually in our in commercial scenario, it's like this. It's much more complex. You see, there are maybe some user, some items, some shops, and maybe some social connections between users. So it's just called the e commercial heterogeneous graph, which includes multiple types of node and edges. From the by part graph to the heterogeneous graph, there is um, complex interactions and rich semantics. Graph neural network is special designed for the graph structure data. Just like this, genes will first receive numerous messages and then apply a neural network to update node representations. But the traditional genes just focus on simple numbers and just link one node embeddings. Heterogeneous graph neural network is a generalized genes for handling heterogeneous graph. Since there exist complex numbers, so we can learn multiple types of node embeddings. And the last step is to embedding fusing. Mm, here is a toy example of our promotion recommendations in Taobao app and uh, Amazon app. We will select uh, some items just like uh, this close. Yes, and then we will give it some discount just like 13% uh, discount. The business flow of the promotion scenario just include two phase, phase. The first one is the selection phase. We aim to select key items from all items based on our user preference. Then the delivery phase try to deliver a subset of key set to use based on their preference. The problem definition is as follows. Considering all user preference, we aim to select key items in selection phase and maximize the real revenue of them in the delivery phase. Here is the objective functions. Given the promotion scenario, we try to select key items is. Here xj is one or zero or one. If xj doing one, it means the item j will be selected. 
and the sum operator over xj is equal to k, which means we only select k atoms. So here are some challenges. How to seamlessly integrate the selection phase and the delivery phase? The second is how to estimate the user preference precisely, taking full advantages of complex interactions and rich attributes in the promotion scenery. And the last one is how to handle large scale users in the promotion recommendation. Uh, the third part is model. To modeling the Oh, yeah, the first part is the business features. We need to know the first is valid delivery, which means only the items willed by users make profits. And the second is delivery window, which means each user only will double items. And the W is much less than K. So how to seamlessly integrate the two phases based on the delivery window? We first introduce the topic selections with after delivery window. It actually is a graded selections. Uh, here is the formula. And uh, if we're considering the delivery windows, it actually becomes much more complex, just like uh, complicated recommendations. It's a combinatory optimizing selections. Here we introduce the Y idea, which means the item here will deliver to the item. A user i. That is an example. If we we take a simple case with two user four items, and k equal to two and w equal to one. Uh, but uh, in this case, the top case selections will achieve the estimated revenue is this, but the real revenue is only this. Uh, the second is com combo case selections. We have the estimated revenue is uh, 1.8, and the real revenue is 1.8. So we find the key point is that first one is uh, combo case selections. Uh, estimated revenue is uh, equal to the real revenue, and the second point is combo case achieves high real revenue. So it's why we design such a complex complicated recommendation. Here we introduce two level of complicated recommendation. First is user level, and the second one is the group level. User level is much more accuracy, but it's time consuming because we need to consider lots of users' preference. So maybe it can scale for large scale data. Here, RRJ donates the Reference of a user I on atom J. On group level, we don't need to consider all preferences of each user. So it's much more, it's much faster and scalable for large scale data. Note that RPJ, which means the group P preference on atom J. Yeah, we we'll try to estimate the user per reference and so the user level common care recommendations. The first part is node embedding initialization, and the second one is the heterogeneous convolution. Then we can estimate the user item per reference as follows. Based on the estimated user item per, ref per reference, we can solve the user level common care recommendation. We can also estimate group preference and so it in a group level common recommendation. The first part is the heterogeneous group pooling, which actually performs the user clustering. It mainly consists of two parts. The first one is the user cluster and the second one is the group representation. After that, we can estimate the group item preference just as follows. The last part is try to solve the uh, group level common care recommendation based on the group atom preference. Yeah, we also try to design our faster solving strategies. Classical to opt is not fast enough here because the candidate set is too large. But inspired by the long-term phenomenon in commercial, we try to 
proposed the restricted number of heuristic search. <coughs> it restricts the candidate set size to k, so it significantly reduces the search space of common character combination. The last part, the third part is experiments. We compare with some baselines on real world data sets of extracted from top of app. Based on the recommendation result, we can find the, the significant improvements on both user level and group level, which uh, demonstrate the superiorities of our proposed common kind recommendation. We also test how the delivery window affects the performance. We try to vary the delivery window from 10 to 15. We can find a suitable delivery window will significantly improve the performance. Also, we tested the performance of user clustering, which is actually performed by the heterogeneous graph pooling. Like one clustering such user into 1,000 groups, and we can able to preserve maybe yeah, most of the user preference in group level. We also try to test the uh, effectiveness of the proposed INHS, which is much faster than traditional in MP method and uh, searches uh, high quality solutions. The last part is concluding. In this paper, we deeply investigate the problems of promotion recommendation, which aims to select K items based on user on user preference in the selection phase and maximize the total revenue in the delivery phase. And we design a constraint of comp uh, combinatory optimization com uh, common kind recommendation models, which is mostly which searches the optimal com combination of item selection and the delivery. Um, experimental results on some real world data sites demonstrate the effective of our proposed model. Okay, that's all.